Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. I am going to share a home remedy uh, with you guys today uh, that comes from my father-in-law. And when I was originally told this, I thought this was a really, really good um, backup to uh, medication, if medication wasn't available for this particular ailment. And what that is, is ringworm. Ringworm, athlete's foot, jock itch are all caused by a fungal infection on um, the skin. So everybody should have some type of antifungal cream in their first aid kit. Something like a Lotrimin or whatever. So you have something to treat that. But what do you do if you can't get this or this isn't an available or this is used up? And uh, that's where I thought that this uh, particular home remedy was... Uh, really good because it's simple and it's stuff that um, most preppers are probably going to have uh, anyway. And, you know, post-SHTF, um, because fungal uh, skin infections like athlete's foot and ringworm are highly contagious. So if there's any type of communal activity, especially sharing like showers or washrooms, anything like that, I can see where a fungal infection might spread like wildfire in a post-SHTF situation. So, like I said, I wanted to mention that about having a, um, you know, some tubes of uh, Lotrimin in your big first aid kit so you have the ability to treat that. But now, I'm going to get to the uh, the simplicity here of the, uh, the home remedy for this. And what it is, is it's apple cider vinegar that you put a penny into and you let that set for a few days until it changes color, till it gets darker and it turns green. And then you use that liquid on wherever the spot is that you uh, have. And because most preppers have cider, apple cider vinegar, seems like it's a pretty common thing in the uh, talk in the prepping community. I thought this was a perfect, uh, perfect thing to share with you guys. And um, the penny should be pre- um, I believe it's 1983, so it has a higher copper content. And my father-in-law was adamant that the color of the cider vinegar had to turn green or greenish um, for this to work. He was really adamant about this, and he swore by this, uh, this, um, this particular home remedy. And this is the liquid that I put the penny in. I don't know if you guys can see the penny still floating around there in the bottom. The penny in, uh, you can kind of see it's got a little bit of a green tint to the liquid. So this stuff is uh, ready to go. And I'm actually going to add this jar into my apothecary cabinet so I have this. Um, but you wait till it uh, turns green, the liquid, and then you use something like an eyedropper to... Uh, to apply that. But remember, that's a highly contagious um, infection, so you don't want this to spread. So you gotta practice good hygiene um, after you're treating this. And uh, like I said, an eyedropper to go inside the liquid and then to apply it. And here, I'll show you the difference in the color here. You can kind of see there, kind of the greenish color of the stuff with the penny in it, and then just what the regular um, apple cider vinegar looks um, like. But I wanted to do this video because uh, Fungal infections and home remedies for fungal infections is something that I haven't um, covered before in uh, my other uh, first aid kit style videos and stuff. I wanted to uh, cover this, so if uh, the um, the athlete's foot um, or the Lotrimin cream isn't available or it's all used up or whatever, you could still use the apple cider vinegar and the penny for a backup to uh, treat that. And like I said, my father-in-law was adamant that uh, it worked really well uh, for him because it was used on him multiple different times. But uh, anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. Just uh, another home remedy here that you can uh, add to your uh, add to your toolbox in case something would happen. You got a little bit of a backup to a modern um, a modern medicine, and uh, it's always good to have those backups to the modern medicine. Have your modern medicine in your kit, and then have a home remedy for that um, to back it up if uh, for some reason one isn't available. But anyway, like I said, this is Modern Refugee. Appreciate all you guys out there. Hope you guys get a little information, a little entertainment out of my video, just sharing this uh, home remedy here for my father-in-law. Anyway, you guys take care.